Yep, welcome aboard Tango Golf Foxtrot, Piper Arrow 3, based here in North Shore, Auckland, New Zealand. Today, very quick video, uh, just going through the startup procedure for the Piper Arrow, powered by the Continental TSIO 360. And of course, disclaimer, uh, I'm not an instructor, and if you are using YouTube to learn how to fly an airplane, um, there are probably better choices you could make. So I've done the pre-flight inspection, the airplane's ready to go, no surprises there, it was pretty good yesterday, and uh, no real change from them, although we will need to go and get some gas before we go flying. So I've checked for secure items in the back, I'm going down to trim, I've already checked in the pre-flight that it is fully operated, but it's put it neutral, undercarriage override is off, flap lever is on the floor, park brake is on, throttle closed, propeller full increase, mixture full rich, battery and alternator are on. Rotating beacon is on, so people know that we're about to start the engine. Avionics master is off, fan is off, heater and defrost are off, and we're all latched on both latches on the uh, cabin door. Alternate air is closed, throttle friction is sort of in the middle. Undercarriage is selected down, and I have three greens on the indicator there. All temperature, just out of interest, is 63, so we'll need about three seconds on the prime. Fuel, we've selected a tank with gas in it, but we will need to refuel, so that's not super critical. Airfield elevation is set on the autopilot, and uh, roughly on both altimeters. Taking the CGR30, the engine gauge, to a, uh, a mode where we can see fuel flow, and now we're ready to start. So throttle open, electric primer, press and hold for three seconds, and we'll look for the fuel flow on the gauge there. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and there's a flow spike to about three gallons. Close, crack, crank.